let's get started. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, well, um, I'm Saul, so I'm going to just introduce myself uh, very quickly. I started programming in Eden Peer since the first or second version. Uh, well, I think, yeah, uh, with Orlando. So uh, we have some interesting developments that we have published to the community. For example, the Docker repository and also the scaffold. So today I'm going to present about automated uh, tests and also how to use them to improve the quality of your plugins. And uh, what's the importance of this? <clears throat> so yeah, let's get started with that. What are automated tests? Okay, they consist in the use of a special software to execute actions on a target software or suit system under test to verify its behavior. Okay, it can also be the programming soft uh, bot to perform repetitive tasks. That's so important. In other words, we are going to write code that will help us to validate the business logic of our plugins. Also, uh, we will save um, a lot of time, okay, by not doing manual tests. That's the main reason. Um, let's talk about the why, okay? So we have three pillars here. The first one is to increase the quality. Uh, the tests help us to guide the development of the product, okay? They are a way to enhance the value of the business to build the correct software. And also reduction of errors. They prevent the new code affect the old one. And the, pos the possible errors reach production environments. And the last one, they are documentation. Tests tell us what was the original author intention. They indicate the goal and the business value. Okay. We can imagine the test like a security mesh. Okay. Uh, we can change our code safety and, and not having fear of doing that. And we can detect errors timely. Um, I think we have some noise. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, um, for, uh, see, if you want to create this, you have to change your mindset. Okay. So the testing pyramid is an strategy of testing or testing strategy that help us save effort in the long term. Okay. So what we want it is uh, to avoid doing, doing a lot of repetitive tests and just let the automated test doing the heavy work. That's our uh, main goal. So we can save time and also money. And that's why uh, we are using this strategy and we are using this um, um, automated test in our work every day in, in Haynes, okay? So uh, the main idea is to create a lot of unique tests and avoid um, the manual regression testing, okay? <clears throat> so right now I'm going to start with uh, the demo. So first of all, we have the plugin scaffold. So I will recommend you to use uh, this repository uh, because uh, it's going to create um, a skeleton for you. And you are going to have the main plugin and also a fragment, the plugin. 
this fragment is going to have all the tests and also you can add more tests for, uh, for your plugin, your original plugin. Also, the tech stack we are using is Unit 5, so it's the newest, also Mokito, and a survey for plugin assertions. Okay, now a demo. So let me know if you can see uh, Eclipse. I think so. Yes. Thank you. So what do we have here? Um, just a simple process, partner info process, quite simple. We are going to have the ID and also we are going to present the name. So let's check this out here. Um, I have select, I, yes, I have selected a business partner. I'm going to start and also this is the name. Okay, quite simple, but how we can test that? Um, we have to go to our test fragment, okay? Uh, the original plugin is going to be a dependency for this one. Let's check that, that out. For example, uh, this is the fragment as you can see here. And also uh, this is the, the symbolic name. Okay, so right now I'm going to uh, create a test. So for that, we have to create another class with the same name, but with test post fit. And in this case, partner if for process test, okay? So the first thing I have to do is to think uh, for what is the goal for this test? This unit test. So the first is just to test this behavior because that's the name, it's a unit. And also um, this is the system under test. So the first thing, this is an example, okay? I'm going to write it again. So I have to start uh, creating this uh, test. And I can put something like return the partner name. Um, that's it, I can start. So then I'm going to arrange our, I have to initialize the, the test, right? So this is a range part and I'm going to um, initialize the object. Burner info. Yes. Okay, that's it. Now I have to check what uh, what dependencies I have. So I have a MB partner here. So I uh, have to set that dependency, right? So I'm going to use a reflection text util to do that. Set you value. We have provide this uh, tool for you inside the, the skeleton. Affected object is partner info. The field name is this one, partner. And what is the value? Partner. So, but we need that value, that partner. Partner. <clears throat> and how uh, this work? Well, uh, I'm going to use a mock object, okay? So uh, let me just present to you what is this. Uh, 
a mock object is a simu simulated object, okay? We, are, uh, we have to avoid using another instance of external object, okay? We have just to test the unique uh, or the specific behavior that we want to test, okay? Of course. So for that, we have to mock every dependency. So this um, function is, cre uh, is creating um, simulated objects, not the real one. <clears throat> also, we have a section here. Cool. And also, um, we have to simulate the behavior for the dependency, okay, the partner. We have to simulate this um, method, get name. For that, we are going to use another um, method. And we are saying here, here, get name, when the partner get name is used, then, then then we are going to return a random string, for example. So expect that for every simulated object, we have to prepare uh, the, every behavior. Okay. So let's create this string, expected name, equal, uh, get random ID, or get random name, in this case. Okay, we provide, we are providing these uh, utils on the, in this, on the skeleton, okay? So let's see, we have this suit, we set the dependencies we created. Also, not, and now I'm going to act over the, the, the behavior that we are testing. So it's, um, it's something like, just do it. <clears throat> just to speak finish, we are going to assert. Okay, so right now, how many time you have? Assert that result is equal to expected. Okay. And the save. That's our test. Right now, well, let's see. Yes, I think it's the same. Okay. Right now, uh, we have to execute uh, this test. For that, I'm going to go to my console. And in your in your skeleton, you have to execute the build um, um, script. And let's wait for the result. The, um, this script is responsible to execute uh, both uh, commands, build, building the, the plugin and also executing the test, unit test. Right now it's executing the test, as you can see there. Um, okay, it's working. <clears throat> Okay, we have here, okay, 
We have here test runs to over partner info process tests, and also we have uh, failure, errors, and skipped. Let's introduce an uh, error here. Um, for example, we are not returning. How many times we have? Return, no, what happened in this case? Let's save that. Uh, let's run again. Okay, let's hear the result. Mm -hmm. So we have the result here. Um, that's it. We can check uh, every test result on this command. I will recommend you every time execute the command on the console because sometimes Eclipse doesn't load the in the item pair context and you can going to have some problems on there but with the command always you're going to have the certainty of it's working um we have another tips. I'm going to share this with you, some uh, information to improve your test and some bugs. And also we wanted to present to you uh, how we can, how we are using it on production environments um, with uh, automations. As you can see, we have two projects on um, Jenkins, okay? And also uh, Jenkins is presenting uh, uh, the trend of the test results, how many tests we have, uh, 290, and also we have a pipeline here with different stages. Uh, we are planning the LCO plugin and also creating the different uh, plugins here. At the same time, we are testing and building, and then we are sending um, the plugin, those plugins, to different environments at the same time. So the, that's quite uh, interesting and also powerful for us. We are saving a lot of time every day when we try to deploy these kind of things. And also, as you can see here, uh, it, it spent just some seconds for uh, doing this. We even, we are not uh, doing, um, we are not doing anything manual here, all the deploy on all the, the stuff are executed um on the jenkins platform and also we can show a little more on the console uh, let's see for example the test that we are executing on these plugins uh, this is a project we extend item pair for clinics and also hospital so we have um, another branch let's say for medical uh, business um well that's it that's my presentation we can go to questions and answer if you want you have questions So I'm going to check the chat, also the mother mouse.
Okay, I don't see any question over here. We are going to share some information with you on Mother Moore's, Mother Moore's uh, chat. Any real test that you can share uh, to us? Um, let me, just let me check here. Yes, I think. <laughs> Okay, I'm sharing the medical ERP backend. So let me share with you, for example, this, this one, we have a lot of things here. Um, appointment, service, test. So for example, we, are, we created this uh, test for the service layer. We are creating all the mods for simulated objects. <clears throat> and also, uh, for example, we are creating, uh, yes, we are creating different uh, tests for each behavior. As you can see here, we are testing uh, just one method we, uh, in different uh, cases, user cases. And also we can test uh, the exception if we want with open, um, open uh, JDK. We can use uh, this kind of uh, Lambda expression to test the exception that is so powerful. Um, what else? We are just testing the section of over here. What other authentications? Uh, email service is. For example, we are sending emails and here we are using uh, the user model from the item pair core. So what we are testing here, for example, we are testing the token, if we are creating well the token for the login, and also if the email is um, ready to send, to be sent. Um, yes, that's it, it's quite, Uh, what else? Patient, that's important too. The patient is an extension, extension from MB Partner, in this in our case. So as you can see, we are using the reflection tool uh, for setting um, the dependencies. And also, and also we are uh, testing if the plugin is updating the patient contact data and that kind of stuff. So yes, we are using it um, in production environment. What do you think? And also if you create um, custom models, you can also uh, can use the emulated mock uh, method and also prepare your custom tests and also um, your different user cases. Well, that's the only question we have in the chat. Anything else? No, I think. If not, okay, can, can it use uh, as resources main um, 
resource test convention to separate code and the test code instead of se separate fragment plugin? I don't think so. I don't think so because uh, let's check the form. The problem here is uh, we are going to install the plugin on item on item there. Okay, so this the responsibility of this plugin is just to have the business logic, right? Um, probably we can try to do it. But according to OSGI and um, our research, we realize we need a, frag a separate fragment for that. And also in this fragment, we put all the dependencies on the POM file. As you can see here, we have the Jupyter unit and also all the Mokito, all the dependencies. And also we have to put this special plugin on the palm. It's a sure uh, fire uh, using the Jupyter extension for this. So yes, it's, it's not a big issue having this structure, especially because we are working on OCI uh, platform. So for me, it's, mm, I don't know, for me it's good, it's okay. But we tried, we tried to do it that way and it doesn't work well at the moment, at that moment. <clears throat> it was useful that answer? Was it useful? Nice. Good. <clears throat> In other questions? Okay. Well, we don't have more questions on the chat. Amazing, thanks. Okay, thank you uh, all. Um, let's see, let's see you in another session. I don't know. Bye. <laughs>